All right, we have an interesting little adventure for you today. We're gonna to be looking at tracks and casting of tracks. So if you're out in the woods and you find a spot where you have found some animal tracks, some footprints, uh, you can take something called Plaster of Paris and uh, use it to make a permanent mold or cast of uh, that animal track. And you can keep it for uh, your memories. So we're going to show you exactly how that works here. The first thing you need to do is find an animal track. So let's look around for an animal track. So where are you likely to find animal tracks? Well, an easy place to find animal track is near a stream for a couple of reasons. One, animals need water, so they go to water. Uh, and they like to go to water places where it's easy to get to the water. So that usually uh, narrows it down a good bit. So if we look down here, we have some animal tracks and a lot of them are a little damaged, but we found one right here that is a nice deer track. So you can see the points of the tracks and the lobes down there. Uh, so I have this little cardboard ring around it that's gonna hold the plaster of Paris in, uh, and we uh, will pour it right in there. So what plaster of Paris is, is it's this white powder, we're gonna mix water into it, stir it up, and it's gonna make a, uh, looks kinda like pancake batter and then we're going to pour it into that animal track and uh, it'll take about an hour to harden and uh, then we can uh, hold on to it so what you're going to need is a little bit of water so paul is going to mix up this plaster of paris so you need one part water to three parts of the powder which um Kind of like I mix with pancakes, I always kind of eyeball it and then add a little bit more water, a little bit more powder as I need it. So add a little bit, that should be good. Stir it up. Keep stirring. Make sure you scrape the bottoms and sides. All right. That is a little too thick still, so a little bit more water. If the batter is too thick, it won't seep down into the bottoms of the footprint. And so you won't get the definition. It's a little messy. It looks like pancake batter, but trust me, don't eat it. Don't All right. make pancakes out of it. It no. will just look white. Definitely, definitely don't make pancakes out of it. All right. So now we're gonna pour this into our footprint. Oops. Oop. That ring did not hold like it should have. Trouble with a sloped surface. Yep. All right, so at this point we can come back in an hour and it will have hardened. All right, so if you don't have a nice wet stream bed to uh, uh, try to find some uh, cast of, but you have an area where you think animals are walking through anyway, what you can do is make a track pit. And that's what we have right here. So we don't have uh, uh, any uh, loose, wet soil right here, like a stream bed. So we made some. So we used a shovel. We dug up a patch of ground that uh, didn't have any grass on it to begin with. So uh, if you want to make one of these, make sure you have your adult partner's permission to start digging around in the yard first. Uh, so you got to dig it up with a shovel, loosen it up really good, use some water, get it nice and wet, and then you got to use a steel rake to flatten it and smooth it out. So you want to use the back end of the steel rake and just get it nice and smooth as possible to make really nice tracks. 
So ideally, you want nice, loose, fine mud. Uh, you gotta make your best tracks. Uh, so once you got this, you're pretty good. Now, if you have a track pit, but you're not getting any animals, and you really want to make a track, what you can do is make your own. So uh, you can always uh, make a footprint of yourself. Why don't you take your sandal off and actually make a footprint? Details. So nice, push it in nice and hard, lift it up, and we got a nice little footprint there. And then we can make our plaster and do a cast of that footprint just like we did before. So once you've got your plaster of Paris all mixed up and you've got your footprint, just gently pour that uh, mix into the footprint till it all fills up. Pour some a little, little bit by the toes. Right up there. And uh, again, in about an hour, we should have a nice cast of this footprint. All right, so our plaster of Paris has had time to harden. We already went and grabbed our deer track. So we got that cardboard ring. You can peel that off. It should come off pretty easy. All right. And you're gonna have a lot of dirt uh, still stuck on that uh, footprint there. So just try to scrape it off as best you can. And once you got most of it off, get a hose or a watering can and you can just rinse the rest of the dirt off and you're left with the cast of the deer footprint. So we got our foot footprint here, so you can use a trowel, it makes it easier. Lift it up, yeah. flip it upside down, All right. hold it up a little bit, stand up there and hold it. You're in the way of the video. Okay. So again, a lot of dirt on there, just a little bit of water. Okay, maybe a lot. Maybe a lot of water. <laughs> and show the camera. Show the camera. And we've got some plaster cast, uh, deer print, and uh, scout print. So this can be a fun craft and a great way to help you explore the wilderness and the wildlife out there, uh, and keep a record of what kind of critters you got in your backyard or in the nature areas that you visit. So uh, enjoy some deer tracking and other animal tracking.